So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some products that I like to use for my spiritual bath. So when it comes to self-love spiritual baths, one of the things that I usually use is bath salt. And I stick to, I think it's a Dr. Scholl's or Dr. something doctor. And usually, you know, the Epsom salt might be eucalyptus, it might be lavender, whatever I'm feeling attracted to in that moment. But I try something new from Five Below. And this is the main thing that I wanted to talk about because I was really impressed with the quality of this. It's called Alchemy Living Bath Salt Infused with Lavender and Rose. And it's for relaxing, hydrating, exfoliating, and softening the skin. And like I said, I was really impressed with this. You know, I thought it was going to be, you know, just a basic um, bath salt, but it smells good. And I would say it's more quality than $5. You know, so if you have a five below near you and you're not hip, you definitely want to check this out. If you like bath salt, you know, like I said, it has the flowers inside of it too. So I really, I really like this. And it doesn't just, they don't just have the lavender. They have other brands, other scents too. So I'm going back and I'm definitely going to pick me up a couple more of these. Now, a couple other things that I like to put inside of my bath water is I use hip Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. And, you know, this is just simply to clear off my energy, you know, any um, debris, anything that, you know, doesn't belong. I use this inside of my bath water. I like to use anise extract as well. Now, you may have this in your kitchen. This is good, too. Now, I don't use a lot of this. I like to put a couple of drops, maybe four drops at the most. And this is just giving that extra oomph of the self-love effect. And that's pretty much it for my self-love bag. That's what I've been using as of lately. Now, I may drop like a, a cap of ammonia or something inside of my bath water too, just to activate, you know, that extra cleanse to it. And, you know, if I want to throw some herbs in there, I may do that. But I've been kind of chilling out on the herbs because, you know, you got to clean all that stuff up afterwards. And it's just, <laughs> it's just like, it all pretty much gives you the same effect. It's more so about intention. But the last thing that I like to do after I get out of the bathtub is I like to use this tree hut. Now, you can find this at a Walmart or probably your local drugstore. This is the Moroccan Rose, and this is a sugar scrub. You know, you just scrub it on your body. It helps to exfoliate, to soften your skin, and also to add that nice smell. And this is one of my f first products of this brand in specific, and I really like this one, you know? So um, that's pretty much it. Those are the things that I like to do when it comes to my self-love process. You know, natural medicines and all that I use, but these are some of my favorite products. Um, and when it comes to cleaning my face, I like to use bentonite clay. Now you can also find this in the Aztec. It's one that has a pyramid too, but this is like an Indian, um, uh, ancient formula. I would say it's been around for quite some time. And all you have to do is just put it in a bowl, mix some apple cider vinegar with it, and put it on your face, let it sit for 20 minutes, and it clears your skin up of debris, uh, you know, the dirt in your pores. If you have acne, it'll help you to get rid of that. Any pimples, it helps to get rid of that. And I like to put this on my skin maybe once every two weeks, once a week, you know, depending on how I feel, what my my state of my skin is looking like but this has also been very helpful i would say too so yeah that's pretty much it for this video these are some of the things that i like to use for my spiritual bath i hope that you found these products helpful hit that thumbs up button and i will catch you in the next video